New developments overnight in two huge political stories. The first involves that bombshell headline in the New York Times this morning. The number two official in the Justice Department, Rod Rosenstein, the man who oversees the Russia probe, reportedly secretly discussed recording conversations with the president to expose disarray in the West Wing. Overnight, the president seeming to react to this story at a rally in Missouri. Was he hinting that he's about to fire Rosenstein? The other big headline, the latest offer from Republican Senate to Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who accuses Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, of sexual assault as a teenager. When and where will she testify? Now we've got both stories covered this morning, but we start here with the president's reaction to the Rosenstein bombshell. ABC's David Wright is in New Jersey, where the president is spending the weekend. David, good morning. Good morning, guys. It is impossible to say just yet if the president is just sounding off here as he does so often, or is this the first move in an effort to oust the deputy attorney general? Getting rid of Rod Rosenstein would have enormous implications, in part because he's the guy that oversees the Russia investigation. At his rally in Springfield, Missouri, President Trump made it clear he's not done draining the swamp. As you've seen what's happened at the FBI. Trump was apparently referring to this report in the New York Times about bombshell memos by Andrew McCabe, who took over as acting FBI director when the president fired James Comey. McCabe later fired as well. They're all gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. But there's a lingering stench, and we're going to get rid of that, too. According to sources, the memos are notes from a May 2017 conversation in which Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein reportedly suggested McCabe or others wear a wire when meeting with President Trump and discussed invoking the 25th Amendment to remove a president who's unfit for office. According to the memos, Rosenstein suggested he could recruit members of the cabinet to endorse the plan. But sources say none of this was ever carried out. The president was not secretly recorded. One source says the comment about wearing a wire was sarcastic and born out of frustration. Rosenstein first called the Times report inaccurate and factually incorrect, later offering a carefully worded denial. I never pursued or authorized recording the president, and any suggestion that I have ever advocated for the removal of the president is absolutely false. Now the president and his allies are rounding on him, some calling for Rosenstein to be impeached. What does Rosenstein have to do to get fired? It's a question the White House has been facing for months. Is the president going to fire Rod Rosenstein? I don't have any announcements at this time. The president's uh, voiced some frustrations, but beyond that, I don't have anything to add. All of this could be establishing a pretext for firing Rosenstein, but that would be tricky because Rosenstein is the guy that hired the special counsel, Robert Mueller. He oversees the Russia investigation. Also, Andrew McCabe is not somebody that the president has treated as a reliable source in the past. And McCabe may have an ax to grind because he was fired from the FBI just hours before his scheduled retirement. And he now has a book coming out. Eva? And David, President Trump is backtracking on a plan to declassify documents related to that Russia investigation. That's right, Eva. This is a rare about face from the president. You'll remember that uh, just uh, last week, I believe it was, he suggested that the FBI, he called on the FBI to release uh, uh, unredacted text messages about the Russia investigation from James Comey, Andrew McCabe, and others. Uh, now he is backing away from that, saying he's not going to release them, not going to declassify them, but uh, he reserves the right to do so in the future. Guys? All right. Thanks, David. Right there in New Jersey. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.